this Game Workshop tutorial, we are going to make a bokeh effect. Right click on the thumbnail of the image in your image folder, go to Open With, and click on GIMP. If you want to use the same image as in the video, there is a download link in the video description. If needed, we can press Ctrl Shift J to fit the image in the window. Click on the new layer icon at the bottom of the layers panel to open the new layer dialog box. Name this layer Bokeh. Make sure that the fill type is transparency. Click OK. Then we click the duplicate button three times, so we have four transparent layers. Right click on the layer just above the portrait layer. Go to color tag and hit yellow. Now we go to the toolbox and we click on the paintbrush. Choose Brush Sparks. Make the size 400. Check the option Apply Jitter and make the amount 2. This will scatter the sparks when we paint them. Then we can paint some yellow sparks in the image like so. The size of the sparks and the pattern changes randomly when we paint. And this depends on how we click and how we move the mouse. We can always use Ctrl Z to undo one or more steps and try again. We do not want too much yellow however, because the dominant color in our image will eventually be cyan like bluish. When all this looks ok, we right click on the layer above the active one. Click on Color Tag and then on Violet. The paintbrush is still active, so we can paint some more sparks, like so. They will also be yellow, but we will change that in a minute. When we click the eye of the layer with the yellow tag off and on, we can see how we are doing. When we think it's enough, we go to Colors in the menu bar. Here we hit U Chroma. We change the U to minus 105. Click the preview off and on to see the difference. Then hit OK. Right click on the copy one layer, hit the color tag and now we choose for the green one. Go to the toolbox and make the paintbrush active. Make some more splatters like so. Back to colors and to U Chroma. This time we make the U 55. Again we can click the preview off and on to see the difference. Then we hit OK. Now we go to the top layer, right click on it, click on color tag and on the color blue. Make the paintbrush active again. Make splatters and sparks like so. We can add some more sparks than we did by the other colors. When this is done, we click on colors and U Chroma again. Make the U 130. Click the preview button off and on. And when we think it looks good, we hit OK. Now make the portrait layer active. Go to colors and color balance. We change the cyan red value to minus 40 and the yellow blue value to plus 5. The outcome of this depends also on the colors of all the other layers, so you might want to do some experimenting. When we feel it looks good, we click OK. Go ahead and make the eraser tool active. Change the opacity to about 50. Choose brush hardness 025 and make its size about 200. Then we make the yellow layer active and we can erase some of the yellow splats. Make the violet layer active and do the same. 
Go ahead and click on the green layer and erase where you think it's necessary. And finally, the blue layer. We can also change the opacity of each individual layer to our liking. To finish off, we select the portrait layer. Then we go to colors again and now to curves. We make the lighter areas just a little bit darker, like so. Then hit OK. And there we have it, a sparkling bokeh effect. I hope you like this video. If so, please give it a like, maybe write a nice comment and subscribe if you haven't done already to support my channel. Thanks very much for watching.